Hey yo guys and welcome to a new video of my how to series this is K -K 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 Chris and today I'm going to show you how to get awesome life tiles like this here in front of me and um, yeah let's do it okay so what you will need to be able to do this is uh steam uh steam account uh pin steam which is an app in the windows store i'll have the link for you uh in the description to all the important stuff and of course you'll need some games so what we're gonna do is first of all um download pin steam i'm just gonna show you how to get it um and I'll have this uh, link in the description so you guys will be able to find where to get it from in the Windows Store. So what you do is open the link, it will bring you to the Windows page and what you want to do next is hit uh, open store and it should show up in the store. All you have to do from then on is install and it should install quite easily uh, and you will be able to search it afterwards so I already have it I'm just gonna start it and if you can't find it just write pin steam and it should come up uh, in your searches uh, and you should be just fine so uh, on first sight what you will see is actually this so what you'll have to do is connect your steam account or steam ID with uh, pin steam so that it can display the games you own so what you want to do in order to be able to uh, do that is to uh, go to your profile uh, hit this button here and it should open up steam if you don't have anything else uh, set and uh, you will be able to uh, look at your uh, custom uh, URL. I, I recommend you to set up a custom URL so that you can connect really easily to uh, pin steam and uh, add your games really easily uh, if you didn't have that previously. So what you do next is hit connect and it should load up pretty much all the games you own inside of steam. Now to get this uh, done properly uh, you will obviously uh, have an easier time if you have uh, most of your games from Steam. However, you can uh, use games from Origin like Battlefield or any other actually, any other um, publisher or whatever. It doesn't really matter where you got your game from. This should work with uh, every game uh, as long as you have Steam because this whole thing is based on Steam. Now, if you want to add a game that you have in Steam, I'm just going to show you how that works. And then I'm going to show you how you add a game that wasn't inside, uh, that you didn't buy in Steam. So what you'll do to add a game that you have in Steam is simply click on the tile uh, that is sh shown up in here. And what you can do is then hit uh, quick pin but if you want to uh, create a tile based on that, you can uh, change settings and I'll show you that in a minute. But first of all, I'll just show you how you do it with the games you already have and you don't want to actually customize it more. So you can hit quick pin and it will ask you if you actually want to pin it uh, to your start and what you want to hit is yes. Now, if you don't have the full screen start, I can quickly show you how to do that because um, most of the people have this like smaller start thing and not this like huge full screen start menu that I have, which I really love using because uh, I, I, I loved it in Windows 8. Uh, but let's, uh, let's, I'll show you how to do that. If you want to have it in full screen, all you do is go to your... Uh, uh, display settings it doesn't really matter wh where you open the settings from you can also just hit settings from here and um, you go to the home page and what you want to do from then on is go to personalize I'm just gonna translate everything here because I have my PC in German and uh, 
you can pretty much go to start. Uh, you, what you can choose is to have more, uh, I don't know, uh, tiles. Yeah, tiles. Have more tiles. And uh, if you want to have it full screen, you can uh, go to menu, start in uh, full screen. So use the menu in a full screen and you can just uh, enable it. And also if you want to have more uh, tiles, like that they are more squished together instead of, and you have more space, generally you will um, have a cool time uh, having this. So you want what you want to do is ha uh, enable both. And if you've got that, you should have this running in full screen. Now, once you added a game from Pin Steam, you can simply like uh, select it with a left click and uh, hold it and move it anywhere you want. That is quite obvious, I guess. Most of Windows users already know that. And um, that should work out quite easily for you. And you can customize it. You can give it a group name, whatever, and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to add uh, friends, you can also pin friends, which is really awesome. So you can go to your friends and they'll show up here in a huge list of mine. <laughs> and um, you can pretty much uh, select them or any of them, I'm just going and you can quick pin them and also hit yes and they should show up as a smaller tile like that and if you want to talk to them uh, all you do is click on them and the chat opens up isn't that great isn't that really cool now another feature that pin steam has is i i don't know if you guys realized by now i'm just quickly going to open it up again is that it is actually able to display who's playing what uh, i think that is gone now but it actually displays that two friends are in game and playing uh, counter strike and it shows who it is so uh, and since when they are in like how cool is that like i i you don't really see that very often and I, this feature isn't really going to work in games you don't own uh, in Steam, but it will work on pretty much every Steam game. I think it works on every Steam game. And theoretically, you don't even have to have the game. Well, you, theoretically, you don't have to have Steam running uh, for it to display that. So it will just do it without actually Steam running, which is just, just extremely cool. Now, this thing is so cool that you can add custom tiles and I'll show you how to do that uh, with a battlefield um, oh wait let me look what else I've got uh, I think I think I'm gonna do it with with hardline just as an example now you know the function of uh, steam uh, foreign games I don't know how you actually uh, how it's called I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up but the the function that you can add games into steam that you didn't buy in steam now uh, that function is what we're going to use to add games to pin steam well to steam and then to pin steam so what you want to do is go to uh, add game and then uh, steam foreign game i don't know how you translate that to english uh how it's called in english i'll look it up and um it should show pretty much all the programs you have uh, on your PC. Now, if you think about it, you can pretty much use any program, which which is just just crazy. You can pretty much use, I just just as an example, you can just pretty much use all the Adobe software and start it through Steam and have like really awesome tiles for the, all your Adobe stuff or uh, whatever else you you use. I think I'm going to use World of Warships because I haven't had a tile for that yet. I didn't think about that. And uh, I'm just going to quickly select that and uh, add the program. That should work out really easily. And once you have that, uh, what you want to do um, is uh, create a, a desk desktop shortcut. And it should be on your desktop. And what you want to do from then on is go to the properties of it 
and it should give you this like st uh, Steam Run Game ID uh, link, which you will need for pin Steam. So what you want to do then is uh, copy that, and you can just hit OK and close this without like changing anything. And to add a new life tile, what you want to do is right click and hit create custom tile and there it should be now you have to add a title for it to work properly so i'm just going to type world of war ships just like that and here is where you have to paste the steam url we have uh, previously copied from the properties of the shortcut and that should be just fine as long as it says steam yeah and uh, what you want to do next is actually find some really cool tiles. Now I find I found myself searching this uh, in Google in a very special way. So from here on, you want to go to images and then search your desired game. I'm going to type World of War ships. And now what we're going to do is go to tools. Uh, size and exactly like we're exact I don't know what it is in English Google and I'll type width 200 px and height 100 px and hit go and it should come up with tiles that are exactly that size or uh, pictures that are exactly that size I'm gonna use this picture and you're just gonna hit save and you're gonna save it in some folder where you have all your tiles inside. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, actually upload this for you guys so you can uh, download this um, probably from Mega and um, use it for your own uh, game so you don't have that much uh, trouble uh, searching all of this stuff. And I'm gonna save it in there. And once you've got that, you want to go back to pin Steam and uh, tap to choose pick from files and you should select the folder uh, where you have it and I'm gonna hit select wide, wide logo finish cropping this should just be perfect I mean this is not gonna be the full size um, towel it's gonna look a little bit smaller so uh, it shouldn't be too pixely and large uh, we can just pick from files and choose that one again and just put it like this this is Obviously, you probably don't want to use it as large because it will be pixeled. But you can also uh, experiment with different resolutions, uh, whatever suits you best. Uh, and for medium, we're just going to take uh, crop large and use that. And uh, we're pretty much done at this point. You can hit pin tile and hit yes. And once it says success, things should be going all right and you should have it just here and you can change the size it will always come in like this uh, um, medium size so you can uh, hit wide and it will be wide and you can pull it wherever you want it to be and uh, obviously if you click on it it should start the game and uh, I've got a launcher here so we'll start the launcher um, but that's it and uh, if you like this, uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this video, and um, watch my other tutorials. I've got really cool tutorials to uh, Discord. Discord is the uh, voice server, voice client thing that I use to talk to other gamers. It's awesome and um, sadly not a sponsor. But I've got my server on there, which will be in the description. So uh, check out Trility. And um, yeah, watch some of my other tutorials if you want more cool stuff like this. And yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.